Good Friday evening, Southeast Texas, and I hope you have a wonderful Memorial Day. Right now, Saturday is the pick of the weekend with the lowest rain chances. 20 to 30 percent coverage in the Triangle. 30, maybe 40 percent coverage in the lakes area. Notice how rain chances go up a 50 percent coverage in the triangle, 60 percent coverage in the lakes area as high temperatures cool into the low to mid 80s on Memorial Day. About a 60 percent coverage for or the triangle and about 70 percent coverage coming up on uh, Memorial Day in the lakes area. Rain chances will be going up significantly, as I mentioned. Monday and Tuesday of next week could see one to three inches of rainfall through Friday of next week. A little drier air may filter in or rotate it around upper level low pressure, giving us a little bit of a break in the upper levels coming up on Wednesday and Thursday before that low begins to unwind, meaning that uh, rain chances go back up as Friday unfolds. So some isolated thunderstorms off towards our northwest, not expecting any rain tonight. We'll see southeasterly winds off the Gulf of Mexico, lows into the low to mid 70s, very warm, very humid across southeast Texas. Then for tomorrow, we'll see uh, 20, maybe 30 percent coverage according to this. Otherwise, some of the more reliable model data after high temperatures into the mid to upper 80s and near 90 uh, tomorrow, some of the more reliable model data shows a pretty good coverage coming up tomorrow in the, the uh, lakes area. We'll give it about a 30, maybe 40 percent coverage up that way. And then for Sunday, looking pretty wet, a lot of green on the map. And that will again last with intervals of rainfall coming up on Memorial Day. Now this is not going to be an all day event. We will see rounds or scatter, scattered rounds of shower and thunderstorm activity uh, totaling up to uh, maybe as much as a 50 to 60 percent coverage. It's all due to developing upper level low pressure forming over the state as we work on into Sunday, Monday into Tuesday. And it's going to sit on the state for several days. So this is cut off from the jet stream. And so uh, by midweek, we may see a little drier air rotate in out of Mexico in that counterclockwise swirl in through our area. So that may cut our rain chances a bit by midweek. Then the low begins to get weaker. And when a low weakens, it spreads out. So then we get the rains to move back in on the seven day forecast. Choppy seas on the Gulf of Mexico, not the best day to head out on the water tomorrow. We'll see choppy seas around two to four, a southeast wind at 10 to 15 knots, water temperature 79. High tides at Sabine Pass, if you're going to do a little fishing at 551 a.m. and 121 p.m. Our forecast tonight becoming mostly cloudy, warm and humid, low to mid 70s across the board, very warm, very humid. And then for tomorrow, again, I'm going wetter than I think really is going to occur. Just want to cover all bases and let you know what the probably the worst case scenario uh, tomorrow is. Regardless, Saturday is probably going to be the best weekend or the best day of the weekend as uh, we'll see wetter weather coming up Sunday and Monday. So a very high UV index tomorrow at 10. Heat indices could be around 95 in the warmest spots as we see high temperatures into the mid 80s, mid to upper 80s in the triangle near 90 in the lakes area. And again, about a 30 percent coverage area wide over southeast Texas. Otherwise, we'll see breezy southeasterly winds gust at times up to 20 miles an hour coming up tomorrow. For Sunday, a 50 percent coverage, 88 your high, 60 percent coverage on Monday. Notice those high temperatures coming on down. And uh, again, another 60 percent coverage coming up on Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, a little drier air aloft it may rotate on in. That could cut rain chances down, still above normal on Wednesday, and then rain chances go back on Friday. Hope you have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. Download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.